Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no one, cause Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer. The power of God I've seen out here works so many different ways and, and, and it's just such a blessing to see God is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. For His truth shall always reign. And when God says He's going to do something, He's going to do it, as long as we have that willing heart. One thing before we do, after we got the meal prepared and loaded in the van, we always pray over the food. We ask God to bless it, to bless it in a way that as it goes in these people's bodies, that it drives out the effects of that drug and alcohol, to let people realize how much He cares for them and, and, and has compassion for them. Also, we ask the myriad of angels to join into the music that as it goes out into the airs, that it goes down into the ears, down to the depths of the heart, to pierce that hardness around their heart, again, to remind them how much God loves and cares for them. There's times I've seen people come up so drunk or, or cracked up or drugged up that when they got a plate of food, they'll come back a few minutes later. With a, you can see the spirit of humility and humbleness, a change in, in, their, in their eyes and their face, asking for more food. We know God has touched that person. We know He has driven out the effects of drug and alcohol. We've had people sitting along the streets holding their plate of food and wondering the music, saying the music, it's, it's hurting them on the inside. And, and when I see that, and they ask me that, I tell them, well, have you ever asked Christ before in your life? And they go, well, yes, well, I've gone to my grandmother's church. So I've seen God work so many different ways. I've seen people in their church, in my home church. I know people have gone to other churches. And I've had also other people come by, if I haven't seen them for a month or even a year or two, they'll come by and say, hey, I just want to let you know I'm doing good. God has touched my life. I got an apartment, a job things of that nature, and it just encourages and strengthens here to keep on doing what I'm doing. But it's not about me, it's about God, it's about Jesus Christ, for what He has done for us. And I just thank Him for allowing me to do this for Him, to bring the glory onto Him, for it is His glory. The Lord has used this ministry to open His way into their hearts and let them know that Jesus cares for them. And that's what I want to tell them, Jesus cares for them. Well, I was uh, in prayer and I was asking God, where does He want me? And uh, He plainly said, I want you in service and I want you to be a servant. And when they were talking about feed the people one day in church, and I said, well, that sounds like a servant. <laughs> area for me to be in. Actually, the whole idea for me is, is, is a fulfillment of doing something for the Lord, satisfaction. And, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of people at church not doing anything, and I don't think they could possibly be satisfied in the Lord if they're just come to church Sunday evening or Sunday morning. And uh, that's basically what got me into this ministry. Is for about a year, I was sort of uh, sitting in the pews there. I had, I had been involved with ministries before, so I knew what satisfaction was in the Lord. Are you making a difference in someone's life? Are you standing in the gap for love? Are you throwing out a lifeline? To a hurting soul who needs your love Are you making a difference in someone's life? Do you lay a substance on the line? Are you making a difference in someone's life? Are you willing to take the time? Pain is all around us Suffering everywhere, hunger and oppression, hurting and despair. Do we stand and watch it with a hardened heart? Or are we overwhelmed and don't know where to start? Are you making a difference in someone's life? Are you standing in the gap for love? Love. Are you making a difference in some?
We're down here along the tracks here on the north side of downtown Kansas City where some campsites are located at. That's what God calls us to do, to, to go out where these people are, to let them know how much He loves and cares for them, to remind them that He is there for them. And that you can see down here about 100 yards away, uh, one of the people coming up to the van to get that plate of food. And we've been feeding him for some time now. Uh, along with the food that we give out, we always hand out a track to the people. And the track represents a God's love and grace. And let them know, again, how much he cares for them and loves for them. He'll have scripture references on there, but also a salvational message, too.